Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. It's been a while, but we've got a new project. Um, I recently bought a dirt bike. I uh, bought it sight unseen for 500 bucks, and here it is. Um, I don't know what year it is. Uh, I think it's a 125 Yamaha two-stroke. Uh, that's about all I know about it. Um, it looks kind of rough, so let's, uh, let's check it out. It cleaned up okay kind of I guess I mean <laughs> like I said before this thing is rough so um, wasn't a whole lot of cleaning was gonna help it the wheels aren't too bad they need a they need a little more love um, this right here cracks me up look at there mm. I don't think that's gonna stop a whole lot of mud um, <clears throat> this uh, is way too much tension this shouldn't should not be like that so got to figure out what's going on here um, this here is really concerning um, because normally you wouldn't have to open up the loom on a factory harness for any reason so that's kind of got me a little worried I don't know if this bike runs yet I haven't even tried to crank it um, but just looking it over I mean <laughs> I got, look, I got a zip tie. What is this? I don't even know what that's going to. I guess it was holding that down. Oh, the fuel, um, it doesn't quite reach. And it's gonna need a chain. It's gonna need some sprockets. Actually, wheel bearing in the back doesn't seem too bad. Front bearing's not too bad. Probably get by with not doing bearings on the front. Um, stem felt okay. Swing arm bearings. Or maybe, maybe the linkage bearings or something's got some play in them. The rear brakes look okay. They've got a good bit of life left on them. The fronts are probably going to have to be changed. Oh, <laughs> this is uh, removable. That's not supposed to be like that. Um, so I need to find a, a bolt for that. And then, of course, we got more zip ties holding that on. That's going to have to be addressed. Oh, wow, look at there. We got a little skull valve stem cap on there, I guess. What the heck? That's kind of scary. That means somebody's possibly pumped some air into this thing or something. Oh, don't need that. But yeah, she's rough. She needs some love. But I think this will be a fun project. <clears throat> I'm not sure how far I want to go with it. Um, if you guys... Uh, if you guys really like the way we did the other bike, um, pulling the engine out, that kind of stuff, you know, let me know in the comments. I'm not a hundred percent sure I want to take it all the way down, but this frame looks like garbage. It's been painted black at some point. And then this has been painted black. Um, I kind of want to see this silver and this back, that nice, uh, Yamaha blue. But, uh, yeah, we got our work cut out for us on this one. Um, Hey, it's not locked up. That's a good thing. So, yeah, it, it's actually, it's a 2001. I did find that out. Um, but, yeah, so here it is in all its glory with its broke levers. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for checking out my new project. Um, I need you guys to let me know what y'all want me to do with this frame. I think... I think I may just bite the bullet and take it all down and just paint the frame back blue. I think it would make the bike look a lot better. Um, 
this isn't going to be a big long series like the other uh, bike build we did because I don't think we're going to have to split the case on this bike. I'm pretty sure this bike will run. Um, sound like it had some compression. I did just try to kick it over a little bit. Um, I don't want to do too much to it until I get some fluids in it and check it out a little bit better. Um, next video, we're going to strip it all the way down. We're going to take the wheels and tires, the plastics, probably the subframe. All of it is coming off. Maybe even take the forks off. I don't know yet. I may leave the forks on if the bearings feel good and just, well, I got to take the forks off anyway, so I'm going to put fork seals in it. So yeah, next video, we'll strip it all down. Um, thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned.